We're at the fish trap on Runnerford Road. It's on a part of our traditional walkway from up north down south so that they could hook up to um, Tomican, to Sunpatch down there near Browley. And this would be a stopover place for food, even a campsite. This is where the people would have got their fresh fish from here. Up the end there you'd put a um, dead kangaroo, you'd chuck him in the water up there and the smell would attract the fish. The fish would jump over this here wall at high tide and then not noticing the tide going out, they'd come back and they'd bump into a wall, into the wall and that was it. Oh, my uncles told me about this when I was only a young fella. I've known of this trap for been here for years, so a lot of people didn't know it was there. Actually, they're driving past now shocked to see it there. There was trees growing on it and everything. We're trying to get it back so we can use it again and educate the young kids about the area and the resources that we've got here. I worked with the rangers from the Lands Council and um, it took us about two weeks, I think. <laughs> with Uncle Les's guidance, we were able to restore this almost to its um, original state. So I've got, still got a little bit of work to do. Hopefully we can get the funding for it. Um, but yeah, it took us about two weeks to move a couple trucks of um, really, really big stones. It was a joint effort, solid work. Um, and yeah, we look forward to get it, getting it restored. Yeah, it was um, good knowing what it's used for, learning more about it, being out here with everyone. Well, you know, even just yeah, having the barbecue, getting all the mob around, spitting yarns with all the elders, we are good for the younger fellas, learn a bit more about our cultures, because it's like, it's not really talked about. This area here, we could put some chairs in and seats in so they could um, sit around and cook, cook up their fish. Make them um, understand that it's a part of our culture that this here river system fed us years ago, fed our ancestors, you know. We could bring schools out here to kids to just educate them about the resources of our area. And then we've got two up in the Cullendulla catchment. We're going to um, refurbish them as well. We're looking to get them back active. Yeah, yeah, it's always rewarding working on, well, our ancient culture, you know, and trying to just maintain that balance with nature and strengthen our people and reconnect with country.